How's it going, Star Wars fans? Welcome back to another Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. This time we've got Jedi Knight Luke from the Luke Skywalker Jedi Destiny San Diego Comic Con exclusive special action figure set. Whew, that was that was a long title. Um, this is by far my favourite of the th of the three. Um, I just love this outfit on Luke. Uh, it's yeah, Return of the Jedi Luke is the best, and this one just looks fantastic. Um, this is the figure we've been wanting for a long, long time. Um, they got very, very close with the uh, lightsaber construction look in the vintage collection uh, that was part of that Blu-ray deleted scenes wave back in 2011, I want to say. Um, that was a great look, but the head sculpt was a little bit off. They did the hair the wrong way, yada, yada, yada. Um, I actually did a head swap with the most recent 5 POA Jedi Luke. Um, so I took that head and put it on the the Luke I was just talking about, the lightsaber construction. And it actually looks pretty good. I'm really happy with this. I'll be keeping this figure in my collection. Um, I'll probably just transfer him over into my Jabba's, Jabba's Palace display. And this one, this new one, will take pride of place on the barge. Move him aside and we'll get a look at this guy. Right, so he comes with his ignited green lightsaber. Which looks to be a new mold. I doubt it is, but um, having had a couple of these Jedi Lukes, the five POAs recently, this looks a little different, but could be wrong. He also comes with the blaster pistol that he acquires in Jabba's Palace. I was actually pretty blown away by the detail. Um, we have seen this blaster before, but not with this extra paintwork. The bronze on the handle, the silver up around there. It looks good. Really impressed with that. Just those little touches can, can really add something to these figures and just make it a little bit more worthwhile. Now, what I did like about it is the way they've done the, done the robe here. Um, it's not 100% accurate, but it's still better than anything we've had in the past. Um, they gave the lightsaber construction Luke, they just gave him a regular Jedi robe with the sleeves, and that wasn't accurate at all. Um, so to have this looks a lot better. Um, being that I will, have, I will be having this Luke running around on my barge, this soft goods cape will probably go to the Luke I just showed you before. So we'll pop that off. Get a good close look at the uh, head sculpt here. Because that is... That is nice. Done a, done a really good job with that. Uh, my next hope is for a 6 inch version of this, this version of Luke. I know they'll probably just put the existing one in the archive line and give it an update, but I would like this one with the with the tunic, the robes, outside of the uh, sort of jumpsuit. Now this entire body is exactly the same as as this one, uh, just with paint differences. This new one has less gloss on it, so it appears a little different. This one has a belt on it that is removable, but the rest of the figure is exactly the same in terms of sculpt. It does have new hands. Um, these hands had like sort of clunky wrists that sort of jumped out a little bit too much, so they've tidied that up, given him new hands. That looks a lot better. And just just the paint on the on the clothing, it's a nice matte finish as opposed to the sort of more glossy one of before. Um, just leaves a not just makes it look a little bit better for detail wise um, particularly with the sort of grey tunic over the top looks really good but an absolutely worthy upgrade again another one I hope they get a single carded release of so if you weren't able to get the San Diego Comic Con exclusive set you should hopefully get this in the future at some point but 
You can buy the set. There are a lot of places online you can grab it. I think Robot Kingdom still have it up. Um, plus lots of reputable eBay sellers, not the scalper market. So you can find it for a reasonable price. A little bit more than the uh, 50 US that they were charging at the show. But it all depends on how badly you want these figures. So articulation on this one. He has a ball jointed head. I think he's got the double ball jointed neck as well. So I think there's like a double peg in there. He's got ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists, a swiveled torso, ball hinged hips, uh, no thigh joint, ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles. So uh, I can't wait to have this guy set up running around on the barge. And when the skiffs come in, he'll make his way over to one of the skiffs. So love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. This is uh, this is one of my like favorite action figures in three and three quarter inch scale that I've had in a very very long time. So I'm very very excited for this one. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've missed the other two looks, um, jump back and have a look and see what you think of them too. Now until my next video, guys, may the force be with you. Always.